second half of a home and home. Port Colburn visiting Fort Erie. The Fort Erie Meteors looking to take two of two on a weekend swing over the Sailors. First period in this one. Gets off to a weird start. This puck is thrown on goal. It takes a weird bounce off the goaltender. And Dylan Pergentile, just 13 seconds into this one, has the Sailors off and running. They lead 1-0 in the first. Now late stages of the first period. And Fort Erie on a power play. RJ Schmidt, we've seen this before. Let's one go from the point. Schmidt ties it all up at one with his fifth of the season and gives the poor Colburn bench a stare down. Keep that in the back of your mind for this one. As this one starts to get ugly in the second period and check out this fight. Zach Mizzy and Andrew Kennedy gonna drop him. Both of them throwing absolute haymakers at each other in the corner and I'll let the fans speak for this one. Kennedy getting the best of that bout as he lands a bunch of massive right hooks. Zach Mizzy gets a few in as well as they're finally separated. Next face off immediately, RJ Schmidt gonna drop him with PJ Alexander and here they go in the corner. Schmidt takes Alexander down to the ice. He gets a few more licks in before the end of that one as the linesman busy in this second period as they hop on top to split it up back-to-back -back fights in this one as these two teams get to know each other quite well. Port Colburn would come up with a power play on it. Check out that save Charlie Burns as he keeps it tied at one. Still on that same power play, Port Colburn looking to capitalize. It's played back, Gabe Trozo shot from the point, tipped out front, Grayson Gare beats Charlie Burns and Port Colburn on a power play marker has taken a 2-1 lead here in the second period. Fort Erie looking to tie before the end of the second frame. Blake Hall, great chance out front. Isaac Gravel says no, not once, but twice. What a couple of saves from Gravel. He keeps it a 2-1 game until Kyle Adamo out front. He taps it home. Adamo right at the end of the second period sends us to the dressing room after 40, all tied up at two apiece. Now to the third period we go, still tied at two. Fort Erie into the zone, Blake Hall, first shot blocked, second shot, top shelf. Hall able to beat Gravel, and Blake Hall gives Fort Erie a late third period lead, and their first lead of this game. Poor Colburn looking to answer with the net empty. Hunter Coley deposits it into the empty cage, and that would pretty much seal the deal for Fort Erie. The Meteors sweep a home and home, with Port Colburn, four points on a weekend swing and Fort Erie takes it final, four to two. Final here from Fort Erie, Meteors take it four to two, back to back, four points, Blake Hall with me. Blake, take me through this great weekend you guys just had over Port Colburn. Yeah, huge two wins. Uh, they're a gritty team, they like to battle. It was two hard fought games, but glad we got the win in both of them, it was huge. You scored the game winner tonight against Isaac Ravel, who played excellent for them in net. Take me through that goal. Yeah, I know. I just tried to get the first one through. Came right back to me. Landed right on my stick. It was, it was perfect. It worked out good. What did you like about your team's effort here tonight in a gutsy win? Oh, yeah, for sure. Everybody battled hard. We were D, short on D. They battled through it. Everybody had a great game and battled hard. Kyle Adama with me. Two big wins this weekend over Port Colburn. You guys sweep the home and home. Take me through it. Uh, just hard work. Um, I think we're more skilled than them. It came. The nine-minute penalty was hard today, but we worked, battled through it, and ended up two power play goals, so. They stayed right with you guys all game long. How did you guys battle back at the end there? Uh, I think we just stayed with it. Uh, they do work hard to play tough, but uh, we came through in the end. Halsey with a huge goal at the end and worked out for us. What is it about this team down going into third periods and you guys come out with wins? What do you guys got in this third period? We kind of just stay confident. Um, we battle through it. Nick's good on the bench. He keeps us thinking we can come back in any circumstance and uh, we just battle through it all weekend. Yeah. You guys down 2-1. Isaac Gravel is playing really good for Port Colburn. Take me through your goal there to tie this game up at two. Uh, well, earlier in the shift, I had two great chances I missed on. Um, came across to me. I just shot it. I, don't even, I didn't even see the defense was in front of me, so I just heard everyone cheer, and I put my arm up.